What's up guys, I'm Chicks and I'm back with another video. This year we have seen a lot of new budget and flagship bezel-less smartphones and this feature of having minimal or no bezels has been the most wanted feature of smartphones in 2017. So today I have in my hands another new powerful bezel-less smartphone currently available for under $200. So this is the Maze Alpha bezel-less smartphone. And let's begin with a very quick unboxing. Inside the box you will find a user manual, SIM eject tool, power brick, a USB Type-C cable, two tempered glass screen protectors, and the smartphone itself. So here it is guys, I finally got my hands on the Maze Alpha. The design is a near replica of the Xiaomi Mix and the Doogie Mix, with the camera located at the bottom corner. So let's do a very quick comparison, I'll bring in the Doogie Mix. So here is the Doogie Mix on the left, and as you can see, it's a very similar design. The shape, the overall look, even the overall feel, the camera locations, and even the actual home buttons are the same. And if I briefly turn them both on, they both have very nice and bright screens. The main differences between them is the Doogie Mix has a 5.5 inch 720p screen and the Maze Alpha has a 1080p 6 inch screen and it's in midnight black as opposed to this blue color. Um, yeah, I really like the color and size of the Maze Alpha. The build quality of the Alpha Maze is quite unique. You have a combination of metal, plastic and Gorilla Glass 4. And as with most 2017 smartphones, this also gives a very premium and high quality feel to it. And I love the bezel-less design with the curved corners. Whilst on the front you have a very nice 6 inch full HD IPS display with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a pixel density of 367. At the bottom you have the home button and a built in fingerprint sensor. The home button is not actually a physical button, it's more like a touch button that does not move when you press it. The fingerprint sensor is very responsive and unlocks the screen pretty quick and accurate every single time. This smartphone is only 8.1mm thin and weighs 225 grams. It does feel premium and comfortable in the hands. At the bottom of the device you will find a speaker, a USB-C port and a microphone. On the side you have a dual SIM card tray which can take two nano SIM cards or one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. On the opposite side you have a volume rocker and a power button. And at the top there is a 3.5mm headphone jack. The speaker is quite loud and clear and watching multimedia videos and movies is a great experience on this beautiful large 6 inch full HD screen. This is 327. I'm going in. Good luck, agent. You can also play the latest games on this smartphone and the games look and play great with no frame drops or issues. So you have the Helio P25 combined with the Mali T880 which is a powerful combination that works and gives you an overall very smooth and fast experience. You have 4 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Furthermore, the battery capacity is 4000 milliamps and easily lasts 1.5 days with medium to heavy usage and this also supports USB Type-C fast charging. Coming to the cameras, on the back you have 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel dual camera set up with an f2.2 aperture and you're able to shoot up to 1080p videos. On the front you have a 5 megapixel selfie camera and the camera is located at the bottom corner which takes a little getting used to as it's a different location than normal handsets. But it does work very well. So this smartphone has pretty decent cameras for a budget smartphone and you are able to take clear photos nice and fast especially in good lighting. You can check out these samples. Furthermore, the Maze Alpha runs the latest Android version 7, Nougat, and you have more or less a stock Android experience with everything running smooth and fast. 
In the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 25.06 and upload speeds of 9.41 megabits per second. And I was using a shared hotel Wi-Fi connection to run these tests. Here are the Geekbench scores for single and multi-core. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we got a total score of 63,658. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top smartphone performance chart, showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. The Maze Alpha has done quite well to get into the top 10 with a score of 63,658, especially considering how cheap this smartphone is. I will keep this list updated with every new smartphone I review, so stay tuned. There you have it guys, that was the Maze Alpha. And in summary, this smartphone has a great build quality, nice large IPS screen with Gorilla Glass 4, plenty of power speed and storage, you can play any game you like, a very decent camera, a great battery life, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and it's under $200. However, I'd like to mention that it's a little heavy at 225 grams, the speaker is not as loud as you would expect from a large device, the glossy finish is a magnet for fingerprints and dust, and this is not completely a bezel-less smartphone. Bottom line, this is probably one of the best budget bezel-less smartphones I have reviewed so far. And for under $200, you're getting quite an all-round powerful budget smartphone, which can do pretty much anything you like. With that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this smartphone. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.